Do you want to take your carpentry skills to the next level and create a workshop that is both functional and inspiring? Then this video is for you. We'll take you on a journey to design the ultimate carpentry workshop layout, packed with tips and tricks to help you make the most of your space and tools. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned woodworker, you'll learn how to set up a workspace that fosters creativity and productivity and empowers you to bring your ideas to life. From efficient storage solutions to custom workbenches, we'll cover everything you need to know to create a workshop that suits your unique needs and style. So, buckle up and get ready to unleash your inner carpenter with our Carpentry Workshop Layout Guide. Ralph Chapman offers valuable advice on how to establish a fully functional workshop in a limited area without breaking the bank, all for under $1,000. Hi, my name is Ralph Chapman, and today you're going to learn what it takes to set up a fully equipped workshop in a small space for under $1,000. You see, you don't need a lot of space, and nope, you don't need to spend a fortune on tools to set up your shop. So what I'm about to share with you could save you years of tedious trial and error and tons of wasted money. Over the next few minutes, you'll discover the three most common mistakes people make when setting up a shop and how you can avoid them right from the start. It's kind of heartbreaking for me because I believe anyone can set up a shop in a small space without taking on a second mortgage. And it's probably not as difficult as you might think. But there's a lot of misinformation on tools and shop setups. So today, I'm going to break down the three most common mistakes and how you can avoid them. So let's dig in. Mistake number one, buying tools you don't need. I've seen so many people buying stuff that they don't need, and it ends up only being used once. If you don't need the tools yet, or if you don't know if you will need them in the future, you might just end up wasting your money. You should buy tools as you need them. Consider this, does this tool meet my need today? If it does, how long will I take to outgrow it? As for me, I'll always recommend hand tools first. A few simple and inexpensive hand tools, chisels, a mallet, a saw or two. There, you haven't even spent $100 and you can get started making fine crafts. For the best bang for the buck power tool, well my vote goes to a good circular saw and guide. It's useful for a lot of dimensioning and edge jointing and panel jointing. Mistake number two, overspending on tools. Now I know many people who have spent an incredible amount on tools. I was guilty of that myself. I once believed in the buy as much of a tool as you can afford theory. But when reality sets in, you realize this might not be true for all your purchases. At this point, it's easy to say, maybe I didn't need that much of a tool for what I do. And if you're thinking that now or about something you own, well, you're probably right. But it's not really completely our fault. You see, this industry has a big problem. Tool manufacturers need you to keep buying the latest tools to increase their profits, and they spend a ton on marketing to do that. Now, I've purchased more tools than I care to mention based on the comments from the professionals in the woodworking magazines. I want to tell you one thing. you got to understand that many of these recommendations are based on limited knowledge and paid sponsorship. In other words, free tools for them. So you got to take their advice with a large grain of salt. Also, tool manufacturers will keep coming up with minor upgrades that are not necessary. So ignore the marketing efforts of tool companies while you make the right decisions in tool buying. Fact is, expensive tools don't automatically result in cool looking projects. You can literally set up a complete shop to build stuff for $1,000 or less total, even less if you're willing to look for used tools. Keep watching and I'll prove it to you. Mistake number three, assuming you need a large space. The common myth is that you need a large space for woodworking. When I first started out, I set up my shop in a dingy small corner of my apartment. I didn't have much of a budget, so I was forced to learn how to build impressive projects without any expensive tools, a real shop, or a ton of space. I literally had to run long extension cords from the living room to my shop. It was small and cramped, but it worked out just fine, and I built some of my best pieces in that workshop, and it started my passion for woodworking. So don't be discouraged if you don't have adequate space. Truth is, you don't need crazy expensive tools or even that much space to make stuff. One thing I've learned when I first started was to make sure the equipment is movable. This is useful if you have a shop in your garage or in a small space. 
Even better, it'd be ideal to have a portable all-in-one workbench. One example is this 4-in-1 workstation that I built. I'll show you how to get access to this plan shortly. These three common mistakes are why many people give up and never pick up this beautiful hobby. In fact, many books or tutorials don't even mention them. I've bought hundreds of tools over the last 10 years and tried most of the popular ones. I don't want you to have to make the same mistakes as I did, so I set out to put my decades of experience, everything I've learned, both the tools list, workshop setup guide, suppliers list, into a one easy to follow blueprint. So you don't have to go through all the trial and error of tools, all the wasted money, all the boneheaded mistakes, and all the frustration that I went through. And the most important part of this guide is a list of the absolute best tools to get and where to buy them for the lowest price. Once you have this list, you won't have to spend any more of your precious time researching tools. And more than that, you're going to save yourself hundreds or even thousands of dollars in the long run by buying the best tools from the start. Even Amazon, Lowe's, and Home Depot will not give you the best price on quality tools like you think they will. But my secret tool source can save you at least 70% off their prices, and no, it's not Harbor Freight.